that. Sophia. Come in, come in. The door is open. Sister, what are you still doing in bed? I'm sick. Are you not supposed to be at work? What do you mean you are sick? Mm -hmm. Eh? What's going on? Why are you still lying in bed? Mm -hmm. I'm sick in the heart. Missy won't pick my calls. I think he has dumped me. Um, I don't think you should jump into a conclusion yet, okay? Why don't you wait till you hear from him? Hmm? Sophie, I'm not a child. Besides, I've gone through this so long to know what breakfast feels like. And trust me, it hurts. Okay. You know what? I will never find my own man. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Don't say such a thing. I'm sure, see, 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 for every woman out there, there's a man destined to be with her, okay? All you have to do is find him. Okay. I'm sure mine is dead. Or maybe in jail. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Very, very funny. By now you should be used to this. This happens, what, three times in six months? You see, I'm a loser. You're not a loser. Okay, no. I'm not going to have that. No. I'm not going to let you wallow yourself in self-pity, okay? Get up. We're going out. Mm, Madam, Get up. I will give you energy. Stand give up. Give me yeah. <laughs> Get up. Please. Stand up. From, I will drag you. Let get up me. from that bed. Oh, on. Sophie, stop. I don't get up. I just oh. did my makeup. Please. I love I don't get I wear heels. Do you want me to fall? Oh, leave me now. This way, madam. Get your lazy ass into the bathroom. Whoa. Don't come back to your clean. Bully. now and I also want to enjoy weekend <sighs> hello hello good morning uh -huh. good morning sorry for the inconveniences I got your contact from the security site on the internet are you serious or sir Yes, I'm. I am. I will treat your profile. I go stop thinking when you look like you're alive. Hope it will be a bad idea for us to meet and have some talk. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine. for his name. <sighs> hmm. This dating site really works. <sighs> Sylvia, be careful. Oh, no good this ritualist. Serial <laughs> killer. Wow. What a good morning. <laughs> I need Sylvia. I need... I will need Sylvia's expertise on this one.
Well, my name is David. David Lupin. My name is Asusa. Um, um, Asusa Sylvia. Um, I found you. don't need to introduce yourself. I already profile. I know you don't like dislikes. Your hobbies. I can literally recite all of them over it. Wow. Yeah. So now, um, what can I order for you? Anything special. Anything. Uh, would you mind share a bottle with that one? All right. That's fine, baby. Okay. Um, wait up! Get us one of your best bottles of red wine, okay? Alright. Alright, sir. Um, I picked this place because this is my favorite place. I come here when I'm angry, sad, or, you know, just when I need inspiration. I really like the place. Yeah, it's okay. Quite serene. Married in three days. Um, I thought uh, we both used the blind website with the intention of uh, getting married, finding the right partner. Yes, yes. I mean, that was the point, but would you think it's a bit too too fast? No, I don't think so. I mean, I went to my interest in it. I thought about it for uh, three days. Uh, Things like you to do. You should give it a try. Um, so after giving it a try and and it doesn't work out. Let's save you a couple of we are both uh mature people. Um we understand the risks. It's not about all we go that love doesn't exist. It's just about us getting what we want. Marriage. Well, if I am being a little impatient or not consuming the feelings, I'm sorry. I think you can go and think about it. If it's okay, like you can call it and we can get married. I'm ready.
all. This is your house. You, you didn't tell me you were this rich. I didn't tell you anything about myself. Oh, my bad. I, I was just carried away with the whole no, spontaneous it's marriage. it's not an issue. It's fine. It's okay. With time, things will balance out. You get to know me better, right? Mm -hmm. Get your things from the car. I'll be inside. Well, you're not going to help me with my bag? I mean, I was even sitting inside, waiting for you to open the door for me like a gentleman that... Hey. Sylvia. What have you gotten yourself into? Blind date. It's a blind marriage. I hope this doesn't end in hot tears. <sighs> Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. <sighs> okay. Hell, I'm carrying that big box. You have to please help your wife take the boxes out of the car. So, this is your room? My room? Yeah, you don't like it? Uh, no, if you don't like it, I can always show you around. We have many rooms in the house. You can pick anyone to stay. I, I, I like the room. You get it's. I like the room. It's nice. All right. So make yourself comfortable. The kitchen is there if you want to make something to eat. If not, uh, you can order from a fast food. It's, it's fine. I'll be in my room. Wait. We're married. Like man and wife. Yeah, we witnessed that today. So why are we in separate rooms? Because we're married. We are married, and that's the more reason why we should be in the same room together. I mean, all my life, I never witnessed my father I'll and my, be in my mother. Room. Wait, I'm, I'm still talking! But that's rude! So disrespectful! Text you to pin. I'm off to work. Okay. Um, can I join you to work? So, this is the team. They are very efficient and hardworking. They are the best right now when it comes to oil and gas. So, any... Hi, traffic. Sit down. Sit down. Sorry about that. Sir. So, everybody, um, I want to introduce you to the new CEO of Agri Oil and Gas. Mr. David, please come and have a welcome. Sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Hold on. You're welcome, sir. 
Um, so, before we proceed with the introduction, Sylvia, please, can you read the minutes of the last meeting? Sylvia! Yes, oh! Um, <clears throat> the minutes. In the absence of the secretary, um, can we proceed with the introduction, please? Um, so, sir, let's start with you. Um, you're welcome, sir. Um, my name is Sophia Diki, and I work with Human Resources um, and Yes, that's it. Sylvia, I'm just coming from your office right now. You will assign me to be the personal assistant to the city problem. What? Oh, I, I mean, what? Your Honor. Sylvia. Hmm? Is there a problem? No. No, sir. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Because. Because I didn't like the way you had been in the conference room earlier. I'm sorry, it never happened again. Good. You start tomorrow. How may I help you? So, you requested for a personal assistant. Here she is. Uh, she's one of our best. Are you sure? She doesn't look competent enough. Uh, sir, she, she has a very good record, sir. I can assure you. Okay? If you say so. Young lady, what's your name? My name. Uh -huh. Is it my real name or? Um, my name is Sylvia Ezusa. Are you married? Eh? Are you deaf? The man that married me, he knows I'm not deaf. Sir, 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 sir she's not married, sir. She's single. I mean, my, my future husband. Sorry. Well, because I do not work with uh, married ladies. Am I? Work ethics is quite different, uh, very tense. So, um, it's okay. You can leave. For marriage, it's okay. You can leave. Yes, thank you. Bye. It's okay, I've got a call when I need you. Just keep on standing by. So, all right. Thank you. Okay. But you and your husband are not just rushing, rushing, rushing in here. I don't even know for what reason. We are just in here. Or at least show me pictures. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have any pictures. No pictures. Well, in other unrelated ways, your phone is here as well as this one. Are you serious? <laughs> 
I regret this. I'm so happy for you, darling. Why? Because, I mean, what do you mean, why? Do you know how big of a deal it is to be the same um, assistant? No, they play like that. You should be happy. Baby, God, this is great news. Your star has just started shining. And I'm happy for you. So happy, baby girl. You have a big deal, Joe. I wish we could even switch roles. I beg you. No, we can actually switch roles. No talking like this. We can switch roles. That's a dream job, baby girl. Let's switch roles, please. Do you know what? Okay, so this guy is not just a CEO, right? He's also single and rich. My God, see the combination. You're not serious. How do you know that he's single? Well, we did our research and found out that he's single. He's single and rich. Check out the combination of it, girl. I know that you will not understand that because you are married. Now I am the next academic sponsor and I'm going to play my cards right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, who is this we? Well, we now, we, we, everybody, we did our research and then we found out that he was very rich. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We found out that he's rich. I know that you're angry because you are married, but that's not <laughs> my business. I am going to use my weapon of mass destruction mm -hmm. and I'm going to get him. Okay? All the girls in this company are doing over here. What do you mean? Before you know it, I'm going to be the next Mrs. Day. Mm. I will see you. I need to find you to get this for me, but it's not the energy. I beg, I beg, I beg. Give me my offer. Mm. Okay, Mama.
ready? I'm quite hungry. Oh, you're hungry. Mr. CEO David Okpong. So you can be hungry. You even know me. Now, what was the meaning of all that drama in the office? You pretending like you don't know me. Uh, is she married? Is she not capable? What was all that? Why would you deny me? You even knew that you were going to be CEO of the same company I'm working at, and you didn't even think you'd tell me. Can I have my food? <laughs> hey. Oh, that's, that's what's important. Your, 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 your food. Wait, did you see me on your way back from work? I was on the road trying to get your attention. Yes, I did. I saw you with uh, two heavy bags trying to flag me down. I did. You saw me? Mm hmm. Is there a problem? He's asking me if there is a problem. No, what? Normal human being, what, what right thinking, responsible married man sees his wife stranded on the road with two heavy bags and just drives like it's a regular Sunday. No, no, just tell me. And, uh, oh my, just after denying me, like, uh, did that, did that a problem? <laughs> what was she? Ta table manners, please. Um, eating, it's important, okay? Don't want to talk again. Table manners. <laughs> Okay. No problem. Okay. Mm. It's good. Actually, I learned from Boss Lady Kitchen. You have a very lovely YouTube page, and I even went for your yeah, training. Shh, 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 shh. Just eat table manners, please. Hmm, table manners. You asked me, you, you said something, you complimented, and I'm responding. You, you, you talk first. Because I'm done eating. I understand? I'm, I'm done. I'm done with my food. My bad. You have a lot to learn, but the food was good. Thank you. I'm obsessed. I wanted to say that you are welcome, but you say I should not talk when I'm eating, so... Still talking. I'm in my husband's house. I'll talk in the mouth to talk. Oh, married life, you see, though? Hey, what did you do that for? Look, 
when I met you, you wanted a husband. And I wanted a companion. I mean, you wanted a husband so desperately. Yeah. Desperately, equally. You make me look like the only desperate person. I agree. I actually agree. Yeah. So you got what you wanted, and I also got what I wanted. You're happy, and I am very happy. I don't want you having extra expectations. No. I don't want you having extra expectations. I don't want you having any emotional attachment to this arrangement. It's, see it like um, a partnership, you know? Um, a business arrangement, uh, and we are partners in this uh, in this business venture. Our happiness is what is uh, most important. I'm a very private person. I want to remain very private. In fact, nobody knows in my office that I'm married or this arrangement even happened. So we have to keep it that way. All right? But uh, no buts. Mm? You have your husband, and I have my companion. And that's how it's going to be. I don't ever want to hear you talk about marriage or whatever when you're with people. I don't ever want you holding my hands and pretending like we're together in that way. Hmm? But why? Why? Uh, I mean, uh, I, what I don't, why do we have to keep it? Private. I mean, it's stay not. Happy. It's not a secret cult. It's a marriage. We're supposed to be celebrated. We're supposed to stay celebrate happy. each other. You shouldn't always walk away when, Dave. What about what I want? I, 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 why must it be? Why can't I tell my friends I'm married? Why can't I? Why can't I show you off to the world? Is this guy okay? Did I marry a psycho? Is there something he's hiding? Is he a ritualist? Hey. Hey. Oh, no. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. My marriage shall be a blessing. Positive thoughts. I'm married to the most successful CEO. Ritual is no, oh, no positive thoughts. Hey, Sylvia Salobua. Come in. Um, so, are you sleeping? 
This particular one. Are you questioning my order? Sorry, sir. Let me see that. Alone. Why am I sleeping alone? What am I going to? How am I going to become a mother? This way. How are we supposed to bring a child to life if we don't even sleep in the same room? If we have never been together? Sweetheart. 
sweet has come to me. so hard. Come, let's go to bed. So this is where you came to hide. Hmm? Hmm? Are you not hiding? What is your problem, Xavier? No, tell me. What, what is your problem? I asked you, show me your husband. You said, okay, don't show me your husband. Invite me to your house. At least let me know where you stay. He doesn't have to be around. Um, look. I will show you when is the right time. I mean, Girl, I'm your best friend. I'm your best friend. I'm supposed to know everything. Talk to me. It's busy right now. Well, I promise I'll show you to him. Just chill, okay? Fine. Whatever. Um, Sophie. What? I mean, um, I need your help. Aren't you in there? Teach me how to say it again. Sorry. Why are you trying to say this? I was not to ask you. Well, I want to give you the truth. I understand what you're saying perfectly. And I understand what you're saying. Let me show you. Just watch you. Mm. So, depending on where you guys are going, Maldives, Tanzania, I don't care. Make sure you have your two keys. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Sexy as hell. You know, I like to give me a little crop top, you know. Just mm -hmm. show a little skin. Not one too, so you don't too thirsty. Okay? Just show me a little skin, you know. As you're getting down from the. <laughs> why, why did you laugh? I'm sure you don't be thirsty. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir.
Holy moly. Baby. What? Huh? What is this? It's me, your wife, Sylvia. Sylvia? What do you want? What, what do you mean, what do I want? This is not my husband's room. I've come to... Look, we're married. We, sh we should consummate our marriage and have children, you know? No, 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 this way. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not ready. Would you? It's okay. I understand your no, no, I have to be ready. I have to be ready. Oh, I'm not. Oh, that's so cute. No, no, Come, no, baby. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Is everything all right? I'm not ready. Look, there's a first time for everything if you're a virgin. No. Dave! Hey, hey, I'll be your spiritual wife. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Mm -mm. Dave, ha, hey, am I, I, I made, hey, I have blood flowing through my veins, Dave, am I a wood? Department. Happy go lucky one. Wait, wait. You gave her our address. Mm -hmm. Wait, you told her about us. I thought this marriage was supposed to be secret. How can I do that? I didn't tell her. I don't know how she got this address. I don't know. What do we do? How do I know? How? You're going to hide. Why? Just hide. Why? Because she's not supposed to see you. Am I supposed to explain everything? Hide. In my own house, hide. <laughs> Look, excuse me. Let me go and work on my guests. You know the right thing to do. Just, just do it. Dave. Right, do it. You Dave, stop now. Dave. Should be asking you, how did you find my house? Where did you get my address from? Um, okay, so I, I was hoping to surprise Sylvia in her husband's new house, and then I, I stole the address from my daughter, but... I think you got the wrong address. This is my house, this is not Sylvia's house. But, lucky for you, she's, she's here sorting out some documents. Oh, okay, sir. Um, but she's almost done, so you guys can go to her house. Right, sir. Sylvia! Your friend is here. Hey! Hey, Sylvia. Sophie! What are you doing here? I'm so surprised to see you. Yeah, I was... I was hoping to come here and surprise you in your husband's house, but I guess I copied the wrong address. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Sylvia is also done, so both of you, like I said, can go to her house and uh, you can go and talk or do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, but since I'm here, sir, uh, there's some work stuff I would like to discuss.
discuss with you that I want you to elaborate on. So you can go. I'll call you when I'm done. No, well, let's go. We are going to get... No, no, no. She sit. can sit down now. Okay. Talk about thank whatever you. she wants to talk about. Yeah. Have a seat. All right. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll call you when I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Savior. Bye-bye. Sure, eh? yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for coming around to sort the documents for me. Um, I'm going now. Yes, yeah, Savior. You can, you can go now. I'll see you on Monday. Yes, I'm, I will be on the streets. I'm going... I mean... Uh, Sophie... You, you, are, you are staying here with Oga? Yeah, I'll call you when I'm done. <laughs> yes, I'm going. Um. Bye! <laughs> um. Okay, so, so, um... Look, um... Don't drink your juice, you can now. I'll take your leave. I was quite busy doing something upstairs. Okay, um, actually... Any I'm question you have will be answered when we get to work on Monday. So, I'll see you on Monday. This one. What kind of boss is this? Why is he so mean? I... Uh... Oh, your wife out into the streets and you didn't even have the decency to call me back when she left. I didn't think about it. Do you ever think about anything, Dave? How is it that we are married and we don't know anything about each other? We live like strangers. We just, everybody minding his own space like, like housemates. I'm sorry. That's, that's how I was brought up. It's wrong, Dave. And I'm hurt. You hurt my feelings. Um, I just sent some money to your account. I hope it makes up for my shortcomings. Please. Are you okay? No. Are you all right? You, you think money solves every problem? I don't know about 
about you, but it, it does for me. It, it does. I'll be in my room. No. Dave, where are you going? We have to sit and we, we need to talk like adults, like a married couple. We need to trash these issues. You don't just walk out at every confrontation. Oh, God. I'm so frustrated. This kind of man is this. Sylvia, hey. Hey. I don't want that one chance. One chance. What? What? Is he okay? Huh? No. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. My marriage shall be a blessing. Think positive thoughts. Okay. Hmm. I can't. I can't. I need to call Mama, please. I beg. I can't. No positive thoughts in my head. Mama. Hello. Good afternoon, Ma. Mama, I, I fell in love again. And this time I think I, I went, I'm in way over my head. Mama, please, I need your help. Mm. Oh. Mm. Too sweet. Both ready kitchen, you have too much. Some people, you are farming with coffee, slimming tea. <laughs> no food for a weekend man. Jealousy go kill them today. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Best food. Can you please observe table manners? You are not the only person at the table. <laughs> As it depends on the sweetest. As it depends on among the sweetest. As it depends on the sweetest. They lost you. Rice is sweet. One grain of rice. See? From coffee to table manners. Don't beg me, oh, because there's no one, even one grain of rice like this. Nothing for you. Okay, you are walking away. You are going. You know, Jay. something. All right, I'll mm. send you some money so you can go to the hospital. You can call a driver or taxi to take you, right? Uh, well, um... ah, just hold me, hold me, baby. Hold me. Which one is money again, eh? Is it money that will pamper me? Is it money that will take care of me? Eh? What is all this? What type of husband did I marry? Oi, you better collect that money and I'm going to say I can't do so. Because you're not okay. I swear you're not okay. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. My marriage shall be a blessing. No perfect marriage anywhere. Yes, if I can do it, you can do it. Oh, oh. Hey, motivation has begun to avoid me. Yeah. Morris, 
you will not rest. You yourself will not rest. In Dave! Dave! You will not escape this night. Tonight is the night. Ah, uh -uh. you marry me. No. prepare the executive room for me. Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll be coming here tonight. I, I want to sleep here tonight. Yeah, just make sure it's, it's, it's ready fast. Dave. All right? But do it quickly. I'm on my way. All right. Dave. Okay. Dave! Dave, where are you going? Wait, wait now. Dave. Dave.
<laughs> ah, Sylvia, what have you gotten yourself into? Mama, just relax. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Welcome. I'm hey. very happy you are here, okay? Why did you do this to your father and I? Hmm? I raised you better than this. How can you get married behind our backs? So you want to make me a laughing stock amongst my peers? No, huh? Mama. Everything happened so fast. Oh, I promise. Um, but right now, Dave and I have agreed to make the marriage private until we are ready to announce it. And after which we'll do the traditional rites and do a very big party, big celebration of the marriage. Imagine the rubbish coming out from your mouth. Huh? A child that suckled this my breast, talking like a compound fool. Sylvia. That guy just used your brain. Eh? Don't you know that men are scorn? Anyways, your father is an exception. Man, this is not the time to apportion blames. What has happened has already happened. It's just that I'm having a, a bit of challenges here and there, and I know that there's nothing that you cannot help me solve. I, I want my husband to be in my corner. I want him to love me like he should. I, I don't get you. I don't understand. Um, Speak! I Mommy, mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm even, I, don't, I, mean, I don't understand the whole marriage myself. The man is just a programmed robot. Everything in this house is timetable, timetable. <laughs> See, even, even our matrimonial bed, it's untouched. We've not consummated the marriage. <laughs> Anyways, even if I'm angry with you, that's not enough for me to just leave you like that. Okay? You can't you 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 you, you can't be inside the stream and still be complaining of soap in your eyes. Miss Mama, that's why I'm here. I'm happy you are here. Ah. Hmm. Mama, you sure this will work? Yes, trust me. Joronjo. Hey. Sorry, sorry, my mm. daughter. Sorry. Hey. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey. hey. Chineke. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Sorry, my dear. So sorry. Hey. Hey. Chai. Oh. What happened? Is it not you? I was told that she tripped while running after you. Hey. Eh? They go there. Bruises all over her body. Ha! Hey. Chai. Okay, mm. I will. I'll send you some money for your health care, okay? Another credit alert. Is it credit alert that will take care of me? What's wrong with you, Dave? Mm, sorry, I will. Easy, I'll call my doctor. Huh? He'll come in now. Check you and maybe treat you, whatever you need. Or you can't just let me know. I'll be upstairs so I can pay. Dave. Have you seen my mother? Ow! Sorry, sorry, Jennifer. Sorry, sorry. 
Than I even thought. Ha! Chineke! Shivering, that's all. That means I'm sick. Let me call Dr. Chris and see if he's still coming here. Hello? Dr. Chris? Yeah, are you still coming today? Yeah, about my wife. Oh, you're here already? At the gate? Okay, the, the gate guy will just let you in. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Okay, Dr. Chris is here already. He will come and tend to you. But what has Dr. Chris got to do with this? You said you were sick. Uh huh. Thief. It's not every kind of sickness that doctor must come for. I mean, my husband down, just ask me, how are you, baby? How are you? Have you eaten? Pet me now. I... You don't understand. Ask me how I am. To pet me. I, I really don't understand. Um. Ah, Dr. Chris. Yeah, don't go. You're here. Morning. 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 Um, this is my wife. She's not too well. Please tend to her for me. All right? All right. So how are you feeling now, madam? I'm fine. Okay, uh, darling, I will just uh, go to the office. Don't worry, you don't have to come. Uh, I'll make excuses for you. And Sophia will take your place until you, you feel much better. Right? Sophia? Mm -hmm. No, I'm coming to work. But you're sick. I say I can walk. By his stripes, I'm healed. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to work. Nobody's replacing me in the office or anywhere else. Wait for me, oh. I'll go to work. Two men. Huh? What a drama, I don't understand. Look, sorry for um, wasting your time. Uh, you can go back to your hospital. I will, I will send you something, all right? All right for no the problem. time. No problem. Okay, sir. all right. So please do take care of her. No, she's okay. She says she's okay. Okay, I'll see you. All right. Yeah, Mr. Robot. My name is Dave, not Robot. I'd like to know what you're doing to my daughter. What I'm doing to your daughter? First of all, I said my name is Dave, not Robot. Okay? Whatever. Listen. Sylvia is my daughter. And I won't have you treat her like trash. She's made that mistake of getting married to you without the consent of her parents. But hey, that's not enough reason for you to maltreat her. Did you hear me? I think you are misunderstanding things here. I've never maltreated Sylvia. In fact, I have treated her with the highest of esteems. I respect her very much and I've treated her very well. <laughs> Akiko, like I said earlier, she is my only child. And does that ring a bell? No. Mm, 
Okay. It simply means that she needs to give us grandchildren urgently. Did you hear me very well, Mr. Robot? Or is that your robotic phallus not working properly? Hmm? Look, I, first of all, I'm very disappointed. And uh, it's very preposterous what you're even talking about. Sylvia and I, we have an agreement. And our agreement includes we both will decide when we tell our parents about our, our relationship and do the right thing by our parents. Coming here and talking to me in such a way, it's considered an invasion of my privacy. You have to respect my privacy. What is privacy in all of this? Your wife tells you that she is hungry. She gets great salad. She's sick. Another credit alert. And when she needs you to rock her in the bedroom, more credit alerts. They are working. Will credit alert get your wife pregnant? Huh? I imagine. Will you get your wife pregnant? If anything should happen to my daughter, I mean, if anything should happen to my daughter, <laughs> I will show to you, I will prove to you that her father is an original Edoma. Did you hear me? Rubbish. Yeah. Um, I was just going to your office. Okay. Um, so I resigned. Resigned? No, not from my job. From my position as a CEO's personal assistant. Why? I. Nothing. So, um, I, I think Sophie here will do the job better. You should try her, please. Hi. I think um, Sylvia is working with this getting on here now, especially with a new added responsibility. So, I think that is the case.
Why? Why are you so wicked? What did I ever do wrong to you? Why do you hate me this much? Why did you marry me if you hated me this much? Who are you? Who sent you to me? Why did you marry me? Only so you can make my life a living hell. I'm talking to you. Answer me. Answer me. I said answer me. Stop. Get off me. What's wrong with you? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to show you. I'm, I'm sorry. Honey, you okay? Stay away from me. Stay <laughs> Why are you getting angry with me? What is this about? Love was never a part of our marriage plan. I've held my part of the bargain. I don't know why you're always so angry. Why is she always so angry? We've never talked about love. Sylvia. Yes, I'm going back to my husband's house. Is Sylvia aware that you are leaving? Sure. I bid her goodbye before she left the house. Okay, just a moment. Just, uh, just take this. Keep it. I'll manage. <sighs> you know what? I need you to know some things today. You see, there are some things men don't know about women. <laughs> Your money, big house, 
your flashy cars, they mean nothing to a woman. All a woman needs is just your attention. See, you just need to pet her. Give her flowers sometimes. Hmm? Make her feel like she's the only woman in the whole world. And above all, <laughs> leave her legs vibrating in the other room. You know what I mean? Even a programmed robot should know that. Well, I'll see you when you come visiting with my daughter. Where are you going to? I'm leaving. Really? Yes. Why? I give you enough money. It's not about money. Well, I'm going where I'll be appreciated and loved. Have a nice life, dear. Okay, fine. You want to go again? Stop you, I can't force you to stay here. That's right, you leave. I'll come for my stuff later. Good morning, sir. 
What is she? Who, sir? Sylvia. Oh, um, actually, that's why I came, sir. Um, she turned in her resignation letter. Why would she do that? Are you having problems with her? No, no. She, she said that she needed to work on, on a project, sir. Work on a project? Yes, sir. Are you let her go? So I don't know that I can establish. Yeah, you're right. You have a point. Tell Sophia to meet me in my office. Okay, sir. I picked this place because this is my favorite place. I come here when I'm angry, sad, or, you know, just when I need inspiration. I'm feeling like this. I don't need you. I... 
for the first time. I felt so scared to lose somebody. That's because you're different. You are so, so different. I've had a lot of heartbreaks. I've had a lot of disappointments. And I kind of just built this resistance to everything. Just, just understood that for women it's all about money, it's all about what you can give them. And I felt that relationships were basically transactional. Like I, I, I tried to build myself the way I am just to avoid heartbreaks. That's why I've been the way I've been with you. When you came into my life, I did something different about you. You were kind. You didn't care what I had, you didn't care what I could give you. You wanted something more from me that I never experienced in my life. And I just knew you were the one. I feel you. So here, please. Come back home. I need you. I swear I gotta. The house is so different, the office is so different, everything is so different without you. I need you. Good morning. 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 Yes, I want us to talk about love and why we should show love to each other. Love is complex. Love is a mix of emotions, of behavior, of um, beliefs that I associate with strong feelings of affection, warmth, protectiveness in some cases and uh, respect for another person. But love can only be called love when it is shown to another person, when it is exhibited to another person. And that's why this morning before our meeting starts, I would like to introduce to all of you my better half. <laughs> Better half. Yes, Sophia. My better half. Oh. Okay. Darling? Darling? Would you come in, please?
<laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the love of my life. Sylvia. Sylvia? I know I have a lot of experience with you. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Ah, this is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations again. Yeah. 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 Just story of love. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, oh. uh, sweetheart, uh, should call me. Uh, 